So I'm going to literally pick a card from not every single one of my decks, but a few of them. And yeah, I'm going to see what messages I can have. Let's make this a bit more fun, fresh and exciting. Let's not do the, uh, a normal shebang. Um, yeah, let's make this a little bit fun, shall we? <laughs> let's see what messages. I think I'll keep saying. Oh, I don't know. It's late at night. You know when you're tired and you've like gone past that, I'm tired to the point of I need to have like six coffees. <laughs> I'm at that stage. I'm, I'm really tired and... Um, I've had loads of coffees and I've got two more readings to do and I'm done. And you are um, the third to last one. So, welcome. <laughs> we have... The other four ones. Um, we're done for today. That is it. That is it. This is your card. I don't think I have to really be here and, and give you clarity on what's happening in your life excuse me <laughs> oh, okay. so i don't want to give you clarity okay because this is an amazing card i don't think that you need clarity look you know this is your person more than anything you know this is your person you know how they make you feel you know how when you're together electric electric <clears throat> okay another card it's you and them against the world that's what it is you go quite often into hermit with this person. With this person. I'm going to get another card. What made you realise this is your person? In your recent past, you have gone through a very scary situation. To the point I feel like you didn't feel like you were going to make it through it. It really pulled you apart. And there's times where you're thinking, is, is this it? Oh my God. I feel like you were scared to your core. This person stood by you. They never judged you. They never looked down on you. The whole thing I feel like this person was doing is just being a massive light for you being that light at the end of the tunnel to know that everything's gonna be okay you know you know when you just hear that everything's gonna be all right i feel like this is your person this person is so grounded they are so stable they are so good for you in the concept of they pull you down when you're flighting this person is pulling you back down. They're grounding that energy and they're showing you that they've got you. You feel so safe, so protected around this person. Wow. Literally, the reason I done for this one was about a family unit being around you, caring for you. So I don't know if this is a continuance. Continuation? Continuation? Late at night. I don't know. Um, from my last reading, but that is at the bottom of the deck, and I've just shuffled this deck three times. Three times, three through three. Angel number three through three. Write down below what that means, because it's an important message in there for you as well. One more. I just want one more. One more. That's all I want. That's time. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're moving away close to the sea. It's like you're moving somewhere. It's like you've been on holiday somewhere and you've loved it so much. You're like, should we move here? <laughs> I just feel like we're on holiday 24-7 and I feel like we should just move here. Just like finish our jobs, pick up everything we own and just move. 
and they're like, yeah, let's do it. Because you're already spending most of the time in Hermit together. So as much as you do like to spend time with your family, with your friends, I just feel like this is your person. This is your penguin. <sighs> you're literally taking on life's big changes like a boss. You're literally like, should we move? Like, across the country. Should we, should we do it? All right. All right, then. Should we, just, should we just do this? Like, everything is, like, so crazy for normal people. But for you two, because you've got each other's backs. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I think that you need to be a little bit more open about what you like and what you don't like in that other bedroom. This masculine that's coming in that is, a, that is your masculine wants to aim to please and he needs to be guided on what you like and what you don't like. And I just feel that as soon as you tell him this is what I like. This is what I don't like. I just feel like it is going to spice things up. It's going to just make things everything that you want it to and a hundred times more. He just needs to know what you like, what you don't like. This is your message, my loves. I hope it brought you clarity and understanding into current situation. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, lovelies. Bye.